this video I travel 200 kilometers of truck, hike into a remote cabin, have a fire, eat some great food, give my take on your topic, and give away a big prize. Stick around and see what all the excitement's about. Well, it's not that nice outside. We had another small snowfall here. So I figured I'd come up to this old cabin that I usually come up to in the winter time mainly. Sometimes in the summertime I've been doing some fishing, but also in the winter time. I didn't get up here this winter, which was, uh, I tried several times, but um, I just had so many other trips on the go, which was a great thing, you know. I had a wonderful winter, a wonderful winter now that I've, look back on it you know we did a lot of nice trips and i think i made like 19 videos from the first time it snowed till till now so that's a lot of stuff happening you know so again in between seasons here so i thought well i'll come up and check on this place and it looks fine it's great i'm very pleased with it you always worry about in the winter time if the roof is going to cave in or but I sometimes come to this cabin, and I often come to this cabin alone, like I am today. Well, my two dogs are with me, but I don't have another human being here today. And I get asked this a lot. If I go to a school, or if I visit someone at their house or their cabin, somewhere along the line, someone says, you don't mind being alone when you're up in the woods like that, or out in your tent by yourself? Do you get scared? And those are big questions. And a lot of people don't understand. Everybody's different, I guess, you know? Everybody has a different slant, a different view, a different bunch of fears that would stop them from maybe being alone a lot. Those of you who have followed my channel or know me know that my life is very, very public on a daily basis. I've worked for 30 plus years in public service, which means every day I deal with people. People are coming to you all the time. They need help with things. And then I have my family and I have my friends. So there's very little time when you can be by yourself because there's always someone seems to be around and you welcome that stuff. You know, on most occasions, you certainly welcome your family and your friends. But there is a time, I think we all feel this, and I feel it quite often actually, where I want to just be alone. I don't want to have to entertain conversation with anyone. I just don't want to have to think about things that people need sometimes. And maybe that's selfish or maybe it's necessary. It depends on who you are and your, and your makeup. But that's where I am. I actually get excited. I get really uh, anxious when I think about I'm going to go somewhere and be by myself. Now, there's a balance to all of that, of course. You know, there's times when you... 
You want to be alone for 15 minutes. Other times you want to be alone for two days. And I don't always know the limit to that, but it certainly is evident in my life. I just like to get alone. A lot of people post things on Facebook and say, this is where I want to be. And they see a picture and they're in the most remote place. And there's a one little log there and there's one person sat on it. And you're looking out over the countryside and you're completely alone. And people post that and they say, this is where I'd like to be right now. Or if this is you, please comment or like. But I've seen it where people have actually been put in those situations. And it might be a little different than what you think. Because there is an element to being alone. When you become alone, we've all got this primal instinct that there's safety in numbers. We're like any other animal when it comes to that. You feel vulnerable when you're alone. You don't have anybody watching your back. So in that case, you get scared. You're a little scared. You're a little nervous. There's no one here. Uh oh, how about if something comes and gets me? You know, and it's a common theme, and we're kind of taught that, I guess, when we're young, and it tarries on until we're sometimes older in age. Some people will never go to a place like this by themselves. I'm in a place today where I have my in reach there, but other than that, I can yell out as loud as I want. There's nobody coming here today after me. The chances of me seeing someone today is extremely low. So that's where I am right now, today, at this moment, having a cup of coffee. And the camp is just warming up nicely now. And I'm pretty hungry, so I'm gonna have a couple cups of coffee. And I'm gonna have something to eat here shortly. And I'm gonna enjoy this time of solitude. I'll take some out for the dogs before I add any onions and stuff in there. I'm really gonna spoil myself today. Father and mother sent me up some seal meat. Oh boy. It smells and looks good right now. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. I wish you guys can taste what I'm tasting now. My, my, my. For anybody who hasn't had seal fried, we always try to compare it to something, don't we? And I don't know what to compare it to. It's so different. But some of us have eaten turs or saltwater ducks. It's kind of like that, a little. Absolutely scandiculous. Mmm. Yes, I got some for you guys. Oh, yummy. I'm sure they eat it every day if you let them. So do I get lonely or scared? I certainly don't get scared. Not because I'm this brave soldier. Not at all. It's just that I've spent so much time in the woods on my own time plus work time. And I deal with animals all the time. And one of the biggest myths that I find uh, that people have is when they get out in the woods and get alone, an animal is going to come and eat them. Nothing could be farther from the truth, actually. It's really an irrational thought. You think about it this way. So you have a fear of an animal attacking you. I'm speaking about this area where I am now. I, you know, I can't speak for other areas. You think about that black bear behind the tree or the wolf that's gonna come out and ambush you. Well, I say all the time in my talks, if anybody was going to be eaten by now, it probably would have been me. Or someone like me who spends all the time out in the woods. But we haven't, because it's not like that. Animals don't go around seeking out human beings to eat them. It's just not like that. Your fear of dying because there's an animal coming. But you have a thousand times more chance of getting killed, leaving your house and going to the grocery store. Think about that for a second. That's a fact. But you're not afraid to go to the grocery store because you've done it so much that it's normal to you. And you're not scared of it anymore. That's no different than what I'm doing here. I've been here so many times and I've seen so many black bears and wolves and that kind of stuff that it just doesn't bother me anymore. I respect them totally, but I don't fear them. They're not there to hurt me or anybody else for that matter. Now the biggest question I get asked, do you get lonely? The answer is, I rarely ever get lonely at all. 
No matter where I am, out in the woods, if I'm home alone in the cabin or driving on the highway, I very it's not my personality to get lonely. And I've thought about this. Why don't I get lonely? And I think it's because I do spend so much time with people. And I have a family who loves me and supports me. And I have friends who love and support me. And I know that they're there all the time. So when I go back, they're there. They're waiting for me. I get to see them. I get to talk to them. So I think that's a huge part of it. Now, I know there are people, and I, I can't tell you, hundreds of you around the world have reached out to me and told me you don't even have that. Well, I, I am one of the lucky ones. Having said that, I do know people, I'm sure you do too, if they're in a room with 20 people, they're still lonely. And as much as I try to grasp and understand that, I would not be able to say, oh, I know how you feel because I don't know how you feel. A lot of you people who watch videos like mine have heard of the show that's actually entitled Alone. And if you haven't, it's where they take, say, 10 people, they bring them out into a remote wilderness, they just basically drop them off in helicopter or boat, and they leave them alone to survive. And the person who stays out in the woods by themselves, alone, completely cut off from any communication whatsoever other than when those staff come and visit them for a doctor's visit or whatever the last one standing wins the prize and it could be substantial it's like a half a million dollars on some of those shows they actually reached out to me about two years ago in fact i thought it was a hoax when i first got the email uh they follow up with a second email i decided to respond and sure enough it led to several verbal conversations and online meetings and they really wanted me to try out for the show. I was hesitant, of course. I was kind of taken back, like, because for one, I know I could never win that show. Although I'd like to try. Who wouldn't like to give it a try? But the timelines that were set for that particular filming was exactly on the month when my log cabin was arriving in Labrador. And my log cabin had been delayed by about two to three months. And winter was coming, and I had to get my home built. So there was no way I could physically go and do that show and then build my home. So unfortunately, I did decline. They asked me to reapply. Uh, I haven't yet. Who knows? Maybe I will sometime, but I'm in no rush. Again, if I went there, I'd go for the short experience because it's not near the people uh, capacity of skills that the people on those shows have. But in the conversation with those people, they really quizzed you on how you felt to be alone. And you know, I'm not young and naive anymore. I guess you're still a little naive. We all are, are a bit naive, aren't we? No matter how old we are, we think we know it all, but we don't. I know that in all the things that would uh, take me out of the woods because it would be hunger, you know, or sickness or both or whatever, a number of factors, I honestly know within my own mind, the last thing I would come out of the woods for in that show was for being alone. Or lonely because I've never felt that way before on any level at all that I would think I have to get out of here it's just never happened when I'm alone it's almost like we all need to go to sleep right and why do you go to sleep you go to sleep to rejuvenate your body it recharges your system you wake up in the morning if you've had a good rest and you feel like a million dollars and it's that feeling that there's a brand new start and I can go now. I'm rejuvenated. I feel like that when I sleep. But I also feel like that when I've been alone for a while on a trip like this. I feel rejuvenated. I feel like then that it puts me on a place in my life where I'm ready to have people around me again. Am I weird or something? I don't know. Well, guys, I hope that kind of answered your question there. I do get asked that a lot. Let me know how you feel in the comments. Well, I got a full belly. I had a cup, a cup of coffee and me and a cup of tea. I think I'll just migrate right back on that bunk there, read a magazine, and I might even take a little nap. But before I do, I'm going to announce the winner to that massive prize, that beautiful Blue Eddy portable power system. Here's the winner. Congratulations to the winner. Thanks for watching the video. Thanks for entering the contest. The summer months are coming upon us. At least I think so. 
I probably won't be putting videos out as much. You guys don't watch as much in the summer anytime. But if I do have some content, I'll pop up a video every now and then. So until the next video, take care of each other. Get outside and enjoy everything outdoors. And we'll see you next time. Guaranteed. We'll see you next time. Guaranteed. We'll see you next time. Guaranteed. Get outside and enjoy.